Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to extract numbers from a character string in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the vector of character strings that you can see in line two of the code. So if you run this line of code you will see that at the top right of R Studio a new vector object appears which is called x and we can also have a look at this vector object by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our character string vector consists of three character strings. And each of these character strings contains numbers. So in the first example of this video, I want to show you how to extract only the first number that is contained in each character string. And this can be done by the code of line five. And in this line of code, I'm using a combination of the sNumeric function and the gsub function. Within these two functions, we then need to specify this code. This code might look a little bit complicated. However, I will put the whole code into the description of this video so you can just copy paste it from there and then use it for yourself. So if we run this whole line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, a new vector is returned, which is showing the numbers three, five, and two. And as you can see, the value three is the first number in our first character string. The value five is the first number in our second character string. And the value two is the first number in our third character string. However, you can also see that the other numbers at later positions as, for instance, the values 1, 1, 2 in the first character string are not contained in this output. And for that reason, I want to show you another example in which I'm extracting all numbers of our character string vector. So this second example starts with line seven of the code. And in this line of code, I'm using a combination of the rec matches function and the correct expression function. And again, I'm putting the whole code of this video into the description. So you can just copy paste the code that I'm using inside of the correct expression function from the description of this video. However, if you run this line of code, you will see that a new object appears at the top right, which is called X numbers. And we can also have a look at this data object by running line eight of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a list. And each list element of this list is containing the numbers that were contained in the corresponding character string of our character string vector. So for instance, the first character string contained the numbers three, one, and 12. And as you can see, these numbers are shown in the first list element of our list. Now we can also convert this list to be a numeric vector, which is showing all the numbers of all our character strings that were contained in our original data. And this can simply be done by using the sNumeric function and the unlist function that you can see in line 10 of the code. And we are wrapping these functions around our list that we have created before. So if you run line 10 of the code, you will see at the bottom in the RStudio console that a numeric vector is returned, which is consisting of all numbers of our character string vector from the beginning. So in this video, I have shown how to extract numbers from character strings in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a positive comment below the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.